Yo, what's up? This is the prof. Yo, like I said, if you're not down with the bullshit, and you're down with the real shit, go on and subscribe and like this video. Yo, man, um, I'm just following up because I was supposed to follow up on the uh, whole Bert and Ernie deal. Um, um, I had some things I had to deal with, so I had to uh, get back to uh, my thoughts on that but basically it's like yo man cartoons those parts of our lives when we're little when we're young those are the most innocent times of our lives and um you know people need to leave kids alone i mean everybody i mean i don't understand how anybody cannot understand that yo man we're talking about kids right that that's you know the the, 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 the innocent years you know you don't use social engineering for that, man. Come on, man. I mean, um, kids are to be raised by their parents. And the parents know the rules and laws of society. So, you know, the parent job is to raise their kids to not break the law, you know, uh, respect proper authority, um, you know, uh, go to school, get their education, stay out of trouble, uh, things of that nature. You know, all parents are supposed to know that because those things, yes, all, you know, universally all all the way around uh, for the betterment of society. You know, I mean, if you don't raise your kids right, you know, in that aspect, you know, and they go out there and become criminals and stuff like that. Well, they're imposing hurt and harm, you know, and, and, and detriment upon people. So, you know, if they keep on with that type of behavior, you know, then the criminal justice system comes into play, you know, but that makes sense. There's, there's, you know, but, um, the whole thing about saying, uh, like, uh, uh, Harvey was saying, like using Sesame street to possibly use it as a, as a, as a learning platform to, um, get kids to, uh, understand and learn about acceptance, uh, uh, uh people different from them and stuff like, yo, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Different races, different ethnic groups, you know, things of that, you know, I understand. Because why? We all got to live. In that sense, there's nothing we can do about that. I mean, you know, you're black, that person's white, um, that person's Latino, that person's Asian, and you guys might all live on the same block. So there ain't no, there ain't no sense in sitting up there talking about, oh, I, I hate people who are not my ethnicity. I hate people who are not my race. And so you see them like two doors down and you're plotting to attack them because they are, you know, I'm just saying if you, if you were hard pressed about um, embracing that type of mentality and stuff, then you would be like out there attacking anybody at any point in time, anywhere, anywhere around you and stuff for whatever damn reason. You know, we can have a society of people like that, that, of course. But when you're saying like, yo, we just want them to learn to accept, you know, that, you know, some kids might be gay and that some kids have uh, two uh, fathers, some kids have two mothers, and we want them to accept. Look, man, here's the thing. That's not anybody's call to say we're going to take it upon ourselves to, like, you know, enforce that upon your children whether you like it or not, because we think that's best for society. So we're going to override your parenting on this one right here. And we're going to uh, use whatever type of what they call like uh, the slang, uh, 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 the, uh, the, the slang word, uh, 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 trichonometry. You know, <laughs> we're going to use any form of trichonometry uh, that we can, that's afforded to us to basically, uh, you know, um, make our agenda come into fruition, you know, no, that's not right. But I'm going to tell you like this, a lot of parents, a lot of parents, yo, you need to start raising your children, you know, the way that you know that you should raise your children. You know, you can't just sit up here and just let people tell you that they're going to impose this on your kids and you're looking at it like, I've heard some parents say, well, what can you do? And I'm talking about black parents. I never thought in my life, I mean, that a lot of black people would do that. I thought black people were like, oh, fuck that shit. What? Don't not whoop my child. Are you fucking crazy? You got to whoop these badass fucking kids. Shit, or else they won't act right. I thought you would see a lot of people when they were trying to pose that like, like years ago, 
uh, talking about, oh, no, trying to keep everybody from, like, physically disciplining their children. I thought black people would just be like, oh, y'all must be crazy. Shit, I guess y'all gonna be locking me up. I guess, look, man, uh, you start hearing a lot of people talking about, but, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. And, you know, and I gotta do, you know, to get on my nerves. And, you know, so, I'm just, we're talking about black parents, you know. And I say that, like, in the black community, uh, people understand that, like, yo, uh, a long time ago, decades ago, it was always a thing where black people would always like go out and about in the public and they would see um, white kids acting up and they would always like back, if you, you know, people like, like uh, 30, 40 years ago, uh, you know, where we always saying like when they seen uh, examples of this, you know, out and about, you always had that black mom say, need to be my child. I'd whoop his ass. My, none of mine would be ever showing out in public like that with me. I wish the fuck they would. I fuck they ass. That's what used to be said in the seventies, and then part of the eighties, and then when we start creeping off into the nineties, you start seeing less and less discipline, more and more excuses for, you know, delinquent behavior. Mothers started smoking weed, drinking with their kids, and you were like, God damn, what the fuck happened? You know. But, you know, in that regard, even you can say, like, damn, see? But when the kids get all out of hand or whatever, you know, you know, <laughs> come on, man. Everybody, even in that regard, see? Everybody, remember how parents, everybody start blaming the media? I blame the media for why these kids are acting up. No, you, no, you know, these kids are acting the way they're acting because you're not disciplining them. You're treating them like they're your contemporaries and you're letting them think in their mind that they're on the same level of you as authority in your household. And so, and so they, they wind up at different points of times, chastising you for your behavior. And so you're like, what the hell kind of shit? You know, that's blatantly disrespectful, but this is how fucked up society um, has become. And basically it's regressing, you know, due to social engineering, you know? So the whole thing about it, like, you know, man, uh, 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 Little Boosie, the rapper Little Boosie from Louisiana, you know, he said that once he got out of jail, he said, what the hell? He was seeing what was going on on TV with the cartoons. He said, I don't want my kids seeing stuff like that, man. See, the whole thing about uh, the gay community, homosexual, there's always been homosexual. That's not nothing new. That's nothing new. The whole thing about it is, it's like if you want to become an adult, if, if you once you become an adult and you know within your mind, I guess, that that's the route you want to go, okay, so be it, regardless of whether somebody agrees with it or not. But when we talk about children, you know, we want to systematically do something so we can force an understanding and an acceptance and stuff like, hold on, what you don't understand is a person could be saying like, yo, I don't mind you doing what you're doing. I, I'm not trying to be in your business. But however, I don't want, it's the same as, let's say you had a, 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 some people stay next door to you in a house and stuff, and they left their curtains open and stuff in their bedroom, and they started having sex. Okay, that's their house. They can have sex in their house if they want to. But you're going to be offended by the fact, like, especially like, also if you got kids, you as an adult might not, like, yo, I might have to just glance out my window. I have a right to look out my window, too. But I should not have to look out my window, look across inside of your house and see you guys in there having sex. Okay, and I have children. I wouldn't want my children to, to see that. I might have minor children. I don't want sex on their mind at 5, 6, 7 years old. Even at 12, 13, I don't want that. So you don't have a right to impose that understanding, so to speak, upon them when he is a parent. That's a violation of my rights. Just for you to even think that you can impose that upon me. You know, you don't have the right to do that. So, you know, um, I don't know what's going on with society. You know, it's just like, that's a part of like the whole, the, 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 uh, the uh, unwritten rule too. Like when people say, yo, it's supposed to be a thing. Like sometimes men might go at it, but you know, hey, women and children are supposed to be off the table. Well, all this social engineering stuff, you know, as far as it goes, when it comes to children, should be off the table. You know, let these kids grow up and figure out what they want to be, who they want to be. Don't do that, man. Don't impose it. Burton Ernie, I mean, Sesame Street is like a childhood staple. You know, a lot of the Marvel comics, DC comics, 
Tom and Jerry, things of that nature. You know, I'm not going to mention uh, the Disney characters because uh, there's some things, you know, that are uh, supposed to be associated with Walt Disney that goes deeper where that's a whole nother, another conversation, you know, but we weren't talking about none of that. But, you know, there's things in our lives that we know that it's part of innocence. And we need to allow even future generations of children to keep their innocence. Let these kids grow up and decide and figure out who they want to be without social engineering, imposing ideology and thoughts upon them, you know, whereas the powers that be want to decide what their future is going to be. Peace.